everyone, it's Kelly here with She Learns Video, and today I am going to show you how to add a logo, a title, and images to your videos in Premiere Pro. So let's jump in. I've got a few little clips here set up in my timeline. Um, these are just clips I pulled from a recent wedding. But the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add in a title. And so the first thing you'll do is decide where you want your title to go. A lot of times I will place it at the beginning of the film as that's what usually makes the most amount of sense to me. So I will make sure that I have this clip here selected and I'll get my little type tool, the little T right here. I'll go up to where I want the text to be and then you can just click on it and start typing. So this is my title right here. And the other thing you can do here is go to effect controls and you will see the text here. This is my title. And you can decide if you want it to be in a different font. If you want to change it up, you can. You can adjust the size of it, make it larger or smaller, so on and so forth. So those are kind of the options there. You can also go back to the selection tool and move it around the frame however you want. And so for this, I'll just put, um, you know, wedding day, and then we can have it flow in and out with using some additional transition effects. So down here um, in this little menu, you'll go to effects. You will see video transitions, and then I normally like to pull up cross dissolve. I'll put that on the beginning of the graphic text, and then here on the end. So you'll see it flow in and flow out. Um, we can just play it and you can see it here. And you'll see it kind of flows over into the second clip because of where it is positioned on the sequence. If you want it to just be on the first clip, you can move it over so that it disappears before it goes to the second clip. So that's how you add text in. The next thing I will show you is how to add in a logo. And what I like to do with logos is normally to add in a color mat. So what we're gonna do here is just after this clip of the gentleman buttoning his suit, we will put uh, an, essentially what is like an end screen for our video. You see these a lot of times with uh, filmmakers, they'll add something at the end or sometimes at the beginning that shows their logo. So what you will do here is you will go to, I have it under assembly usually when I'm utilizing this tool. I click new item, which it almost just looks like a little post-it note here. Click on that and select color mat. And then you'll just wanna make sure that the video settings here match with your timeline and the height and width. So it's all in 1080p for me with this film. And then just click okay. And then you can select whatever color works best for your video. I'll just select like a light gray for now because I think my logo will be black that we put on here. And you can also type in color codes if you'd like or adjust this however you see fit. So if you click OK, it'll just ask you to name the new mat. I'll just make it a gray color mat. And then you'll see it up here in my bin with my project and all my other clips. So I'm going to take that, drag it onto my timeline, just right, I'll bump it right up against this clip here of the gentleman, so that after that clip is finished, it will go to the color mat. And then on top of this color mat is where I will be adding in my logo. So if I go to my logo over here, and then I just drag it right onto the timeline, you will see it show up over here in your project but I just drop it right on top of there and then I will adjust it to however long I want it to show. And you'll notice here that the logo is larger than the screen essentially. So I'll just double click on it and you can see the little guides right here on both sides where you can adjust the size and make it smaller. You could also go over to um, editing and on the effects, you click on it here, and you will see um, 
effect controls and you can scale it this way as well, making it larger and smaller here. So just make sure it fits on the screen how you want it. Okay, from there, I will also add in some transitions to make it flow a little bit better. This is just how I like it to look. You can either do that or decide not to if you prefer, but I go to video transitions and I will select again, cross dissolve, just throw that on the front of my logo. And then I also throw it on the back. And so if we play it here, you'll see that ends, goes to a gray screen, the logo fades in and then fades out. So that is how I will add logos to the end of any films that I'm creating, whether that is the logo for a company or business or my own personal logo as I am creating and sending out family films or wedding films. And then the last thing I will show you is sometimes photographers or if you're making a, you know, recap video for your family, maybe from a trip, you on occasion will want to add in a still image, so a photograph for your video, and just have it play along with perhaps some video clips or music. This is something I don't do super often, but um, from time to time it works out well. So what we're gonna do here is go over to this files folder I have. I'll click on the stock image I want to drop in, and then I'll just drop it right onto my timeline. So you can decide how long or short you want the photo to show. And you'll just, again, adjust this by using the little guides here to drag. I'll just have it pop right in there in between my wedding clips. And again, this photo does show a little bit larger than the 1080p film. So what I'm gonna do here is I will click on my image here on my sequence. I will right click and go to set to frame size. And that's just gonna scale down my image to fit within the video frame. And if for some reason I don't want the black bars on the side, I could just double click on it with the selection tool and I can make it larger to where it is set to there um, so that the black bars don't show on the side and you can kind of adjust it however you see fit. So that is how to add text to your films how to add a logo to your films on top of a color mat, and then also how to drop in a still image to any of your videos. Okay, so that is everything for today. I hope you learned a little bit about how to add text to your videos, how to add a logo to your films, and then also how to insert a still image if you need to add that into a video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. You can also learn more and visit us at shelearnsvideo.com. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop us a comment below. Thanks. Yeah.